some of you have been asking how to use this leg stretcher that I got off of Amazon and I'll provide the link down below. But um, some of you are asking how do you get your leg in there? How do you do it sitting up, laying down? So um, I've been using it a couple weeks now very faithfully in the morning and at night. And so um, I'm constantly learning different tips and tricks for me and I'm sure I'll learn more. But for now I thought I'd at least share what has made it a little simpler for me. So to get started, I'm gonna demonstrate, you can do it with one shoe on, um, your shoes on, your shoes off. I'm already dressed for the day, so I've got jeans on, but if you had leggings or pajamas or something like that, or not anything on at all, obviously the amount of stretch that your clothes will give you can inhibit some of that also. But at this point, I'm not stretching, um, I'm not stretched out enough to do major stretches anyway. So stretching clothes versus not doesn't really matter. In my case yet although I hope I get there so uh, the idea is that this strap um, it's metal it's not heavy for those of you who don't have great arm strength I don't either but it's not heavy and because it's loopy um, it's plenty of places to um, you know finagle your hands to get the most momentum you need instead of just pure grip strength or hanging on so you can you know utilize it however you'll see you'll figure that out if you have um, any upper body um, impairment. So, so basically this strap goes on the front of your leg and this strap goes underneath your ankle. And then you can order this with this foot um, heel, this pad right here or not. It's nothing fancy, but it's just supposed to give you a little bit more stretch on, I guess, the Achilles tendon on the back of your foot, which for me is where a lot of my clonus happens because my foot wants to hang down, and so when that tendon gets stretched at all, my feet just want to jump and go crazy. So, um, you know, if that is a is flowness, especially is a big thing for you, it is for me. So I went ahead and paid a little bit extra and got the, the foot pad. So I don't think it's going to hurt any of you, but I'm just telling you why I did it. Okay, so how to get your leg in, of course, while keeping your balance. So as you can see, I have horrible posture, but um, this is how I can sit on my bed. My bed's really soft, so it kind of engulfs me anyway. If you're on a hard service figure, figure out your own balance points. But basically, this is one way. I'll show you another one, but this is one way that I get started. And um, when you get started, I didn't start by laying flat on my back and trying to do it. I kind of worked my way down to that and even worked my way down to it in the mornings. Well, no, not in the mornings. In the mornings, I, I do it another way. I'll show you. But at night, I get into bed. This is how I'll put it on before I ever lay back or anything. So I just... Um, First of all, just get my, before you even have to do much lifting, because if you start lifting on your leg, you're going to lose your balance. And if you're not very strong, just lifting your leg with your arms is, is kind of difficult. So I just kind of take the frame and put my hand underneath my foot enough, under my ankle bone, actually. I got it right on the ankle bone, so it kind of picks up this leg and my foot at the same time. And I just lift it enough to get the bar under, like that. And then I get that heel strap behind my my shoes catching it. If you don't have shoes on, that's much easier. Um, and then I just want to make sure that it's lined up. And now that strap's behind my heel. My foot is fairly centered. And now when I spin this around, um, I'm gonna, I like to lock my arm in it because again, I don't have great hand strength and my hands will start spasming if I try to focus too much on them. So I'm gonna try not to do that. Um, and then I'll just maneuver it like that and get it straight. And just starting with that right there, just by getting it in and making your leg go straight, which our legs don't, mine don't want to do that. My hips want to roll out this way. So my legs like to frog out. And I think some of you, unless you deal with your legs coming in too tight, but my legs frog. And so they want to roll out. So just making my leg have to be in a straight position already lines me up straighter and is already going to start getting things stretched out. So I just start by laying my arm on this and that just applies enough counter pressure here that it pushes your knee down and that counter down there makes your foot bend up, which, which stretches that out. Um, normally in the evenings, I get some a little bit of clonus going on from this, just a little kickback, but because of the frame here, I can sort of overpower it and it'll calm down as that stretches. Okay, so I'm just demonstrating with the shoe on, but honestly, I left a shoe off to demonstrate, but it really is no different. It's just the opposite side of the body. Um, this left leg flops, it rolls more and stays in, a, in more of a completely on the left side. It will not. I can roll it up and hold it 
and it's immediately gonna roll back out. So it's more dramatic than this one, and I'll show you in a minute why that's a problem. I can't, you know, work it through it. Okay, so the first thing I started to do is I started with a pile of pillows behind my back. So when I wanted to start laying back and getting a little bit more resistance, I just first lay back. And then if you have short arms like me, you can see why this is a problem, right? So I thought, okay, that's not gonna work. So what I did then is I just grab it here and I, that's what I kind of did. I just prop myself and let myself have a enough of a lift to try to give it a little bit more. And now we're moving away from that um, Achilles tendon and we're really, this is more stretching your hamstring. So you're gonna get a really good stretch on that hamstring. Now, what I figured out doing because to try to get this straight up in the air, I'm not able to do that. I am like way too tight. Honestly, that's really heavy for this arm and I can try, but then my hand <laughs> starts going crazy and I do not like that. Okay, so what I did is I learned it, I cheated. So I will grab here and, and get my wrist on it here and let it pull my knee up to my chest like that, right? So now, it's in a better length for me, and then I get myself straightened back out, and now it's just holding itself in place, my leg. And then, once I got here, then I tucked it up as close to my body, and honestly, with just, this is my wrist strength, I'm gonna lock my fingers together here, but just my wrist strength and my arms, I'm just doing what I would do as a normal stretch anyway, except I'm just letting it, using this metal here, to continue to activate that foot stretch while I'm doing this. And then um, you can go higher to get more leverage. This is really just a leverage machine. And so if I get more leverage, then from here I can um, get my leg a little straighter. And now this is a different form. And this right here is not heavy because again, it's leverage. So the higher I am up here, which I can hold this almost with just my forearm, the higher I am. Now, I'm trying to fall over to the right right now, and I'm really trying hard not to. So, um, where I found this stretch most effective, though, is without the pillows. So, I'm going to move some of these pillows. Try to get a... bed made all pretty and I'm gonna make it for y'all so you're welcome. Alright. So if uh once I get here and I'm so crooked. Whew, okay. So once I get here, I'm gonna just bring this up to me. And same thing. Now you get a much better stretch in this position. And this is not uncomfortable at all. Actually, I find it um, much more stable on my back doing it this way than I did trying to prop up on the pillows because the pillows, I feel my body sliding off and trying, and I'm really having to counter, which I feel like then I'm not um, focusing on the proper stretch. So, so I'll do this stretch and then again, just moving up. And your leg wants to do its own thing, you know, because it frame though you can use a frame to help <laughs> keep your leg in order and then and then I just come up as far as I can here and just hold that and what you can do eventually is you play around you can play around with the, the leverage it's all leverage so you can play around with knowing that this is going to keep your kneecap in place and then your foot's already in place so it's now just a matter of um, I'll take my hand here on the back of this strap and I can kind of push it while I'm pushing towards me here I can push that away that way and again leverage this is no hand strength this is all just my arms I mean I can I can hang on with my hands and fingers and get enough grip because it's like I said it's not it doesn't feel heavy it just I don't have as much control so I don't like it as well and and then, you know, you can either hold this one here and push your knee and just try to get a little more um, 
these to loosen up. This just stays so tight, you know. But you don't want to do it, don't do it dramatically. Don't force it. Just a little bit at a time. I'll just push it to where I feel that resistance and I'll just hold there. But don't push past the resistance. Just kind of hold um, your resistance where it is. And just let it let it stretch. Hold as long as you can. And like I say, my body wants to spasm and, and move against me, but for the most part, I can I can contain it because it's got these extra hands and straps that not having a partner to help you do it or something um, really maintains it. So you can see my, my my muscles are jumpy, like they're wanting to fight, but they're really not too bad. So I'm just kind of, I'm going to be the boss. They're going to do what I'm going to say, <laughs> hopefully. Um, but honestly, this is this is the best thing. I've tried strapping. I've tried those straps where they tie around your ankle and you can do the stretches and there is no control in my knee and hip and all that. And this is pretty stable. And this is really the stretch I'm working on right now. They show in the demos and stuff. Of course, we can bring your leg out to the um to the to this side. I'm trying to do it slow cuz I'm trying not to kick back and I don't want to tear anything. But just control that with your arm, with the leverage. And you can, you know, come to the side or you can go to this side and get that hip joint. Um, here will loosen up. But, you know, then for me to take it down, I just bring it here and let that drop and then go here and then voila. Okay, but that's the other thing I wanted to show you is that at night or in the mornings, I mean, I start, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this shoe off. Um, I don't want to try with the shoe. But in the mornings, I start, and I'm almost always laying on my back by the time I wake up in the mornings a lot of times. And so I just keep my, um, I keep this on this side of the bed with me and then so like in the mornings if I wake up then um, uh, I can trigger a spasm to kind of get my normally in the mornings my hands and arms are really really tight so I have even um, they just give me a lot of trouble so until they get them going for the day I have more trouble out of them so what I'll do is I can uh, trigger one of my spasms to get my legs to me so I just act like I'm gonna do a real dramatic sit up which I can't do but when I when I do that it'll pull my legs like so at least it gets it to me and then I will get this and from literally from this position I will um, I will just take it like that put my foot in it wants to wobble around but pretty much you got your foot in the strapping like you need it and I just start my morning just like that so um, before I even move or do much uh, try to sit up like at night like I, I start sitting up then I'll then I'll end laying down and get a bigger stretch but in the mornings I start opposite I start and just do my stretches here and get those going and that gets me loose enough to uh, have a much easier time to get up and get dressed and Okay, so that's how I do it. And uh, if you have any other questions, I think I've answered uh, the biggest ones that were coming into me of how do you get it in, you lay back, um, you know, what's it do. So I think there's a lot of other options for this, and I think it's just a matter of um, figuring it out and playing around with it. But you just want to take it slow. Give that time to slowly stretch out every time you do it and uh, play a little game and see if you get a little more range of motion every time you do it. So um, we talked about the left leg. The only difficulty that I have with the left leg is that it wants to roll out. So I think you kind of got an example of that when I put it on a minute ago and just trying to get the frame to get your leg. I have to just concentrate and work more with this one because it wants to, my knee wants to slide over and come out of this frame on this side. 
it hasn't, but for the health and you want to be careful of your joints and not bending them in any weird way because we can't feel that. So visually you want to make sure you're not hyperextending or doing anything weird. So you don't want to start stretching if you're, if you're not lined up. Your foot needs to be in the right place, your ankle, your kneecap. Try to get all that lined properly before you start to stretch. So my, left, my knee wants to roll, my whole leg wants to roll to the left. So I just have to fight a little harder to keep my knee centered. And, um, but it's working, it's, it's doing better. I just have had to fight it more. So my right leg cooperates really good with it. And the left leg needs it. So it's going to do it whether it wants to or not. So anyway, uh, get it. I think I paid about 60 something dollars for this. And, um, and then the wedge is like $10 more or something, but it's been worth it. It's already settled my clonus down in the mornings. I still have clonus, but um, it doesn't go on so wild and so long. It really has helped that to get that stretched out before I get in my chair and my feet get in those, my, that position. It, they don't like to be stretched. That Achilles tendon does not like to be stretched. So it's already helping that. So it's been worth that multiple times for me just not to deal with that all morning. So anyway, hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.